Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we continue our series on replacing handheld scanners with smartphones. This is part 2, if you missed part 1, don't worry, you can catch up on our channel. In this video, we'll show you how to use your mobile browser as a replacement for handheld scanner. Our solution includes a web barcode scanner and a Python desktop tool to receive the barcodes and trigger inputs, all using the MQTT messaging protocol. First, let's talk a little bit about MQTT. MQTT is an OASIS standard messaging protocol for the Internet of Things. It's designed to be lightweight, making it perfect for connecting remote devices with minimal network bandwidth and a small code footprint. By utilizing MQTT, we can bridge the smartphone, acting as the barcode scanning client, and the computer, serving as the recipient of barcode results. To make this solution work, we'll leverage the power of Dynamsoft Camera Enhancer for capturing camera frames and Dynamsoft Barcode Reader for reading barcodes and QR codes. These libraries are easy to integrate and offer excellent barcode scanning capabilities. Let's dive in. First, Create a web page that connects to a public MQTT broker and publishes a message to the barcode topic. Next, I will create a Python script. It's important to make sure that the public broker we're using allows connections from both the web page and the Python script. To add the barcode scanning function to our web page, we need to include the Dynamsoft libraries and initialize them. and I'll include some elements with controls to start and stop scanning, as well as an option for continuous scanning. Then, define functions to read barcodes from camera frames. The functions will use an interval to continuously scan barcodes. If a barcode is found, we'll send the barcode text via MQTT. After receiving the barcode result, we can use Pi Auto GUI and PiperClip to trigger input via clipboard and hotkeys. We can set which keys to trigger and what text to add to the result. Finally, copy the barcode result and trigger the paste hotkey for different platforms to make the input. Now we've successfully completed our project. To run the solution, simply launch the Python script and open the web app. In our demonstration, we'll be using an Excel file to showcase how the solution works. As you scan each barcode, the results will automatically appear in the Excel sheet. And there you have it. We've shown you how easy it is to create a remote barcode scanner. If you're eager to try it yourself, you can clone the project from our GitHub repository and follow our comprehensive step-by-step -step tutorial guide. Check the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tech tutorials like this one.